Mike, on the 1st of December, the Lisbon Treaty is supposed to come into force. Does that mean that the United Kingdom is now a province of the United States of Europe? Well, I think every, every one of these treaties has moved towards that, and that's the final solution, because yes, that's the final treaty. When the Conservatives say that they're going to give you a referendum, of course they lied, that we're not going to get a referendum, but they also sneakily said, we'll give you a, a referendum on every subsequent treaty. There won't be any, because it's self-amending. That particular, that, that particular treaty is, is self-amending. So what happens is, anything else that we have to sign up to, we won't. The MEPs will vote on it, but more importantly, the Commission will decide. Uh, and, and they'll tighten up the regulations and do everything else. So there will be no more treaties. That's the end of it. It's the final thing. We've signed up. Now, when we signed that, we were told, weren't we, that this was just an amalgamation of all the other previous treaties and nothing to worry about. I was even on the television debating with a Labour man who was trying to tell everybody that. And afterwards I said to him, have you read this treaty? And he said, no. And he was on the television saying, leave it to the politicians to read the treaty and deal with this. We understand it basically and you don't. He hadn't even read it. He, he, he was talking rubbish on the television. And I wondered why. That's why I asked him afterwards. First of all, not many people knew that there would be a president. Nobody hardly knew there would be a president uh, for the European Union based on this treaty. And now you do, because we've got one, haven't we, Mr. Rumpy? The, f the fact of the matter is also that we now have a clause in that Lisbon Treaty saying that we have to apply if we want to leave the EU. And we have to apply in writing to the EU Commission. And they have two years to decide whether or not they're going to let us loose and they have to negotiate between themselves and decide on our terms of leaving. So there they are, oh, and talking behind our backs because we're excluded from the actual negotiations. So my question in the Parliament was, what happens if they say no? Do they send in the tanks? And that went down like a lead balloon because everybody's shouting it won't happen, the letters and so on. But if you're a solicitor and advising your client and looking at a, an agreement, you always have to look at the downside. And the downside of the, of the Lisbon Treaty is they could stop us leaving the European Union and treat us much like Poland and, the, and Czechoslovakia was treated by the Soviet Union. So those are the sort of things we don't seem to look at. We seem to trust this new Soviet Union, or as most people call it, the Fourth Reich. Why? It doesn't tell the truth. It forces people to vote in certain directions. The Irish said they want non didn't want anything of the Lisbon Treaty. They were made to vote again. And when they were made to vote again, it was about between 10 and 20 to 1 in, in, in terms of cash. They put far more into the yes vote than we could put into the no vote. And let me tell you, UKIP supported the no vote on both occasions. We put our own allowances into that quite legally. And in the first vote, the Conservatives put theirs into the yes vote. We were in the no vote, and the Conservatives put theirs into the yes vote because they were in the EPP group, which is a Europhile group, and their money went into the yes campaign. In the second uh, Irish referendum, we paid enough money in to deliver a leaflet to every single household in the Irish Republic. So we tried, but we didn't succeed. The Irish were told that uh, they would have unemployment and all sorts of other silly nonsense unless they continued with the EU. And they withheld the fact from them that Aer Lingus and another company were going to make 1,500 jobs, uh, well, people redundant. And that happened three days after the, they signed the treaty. So it's little stage things like that where they made sure the Irish people were deceived.